basket together and I have a small basket here and I'm just going to line that with some tissue paper we don't need to put too much stuff in there um, I'm just going to make a nice little small hamper but I need to add some tissue paper and obviously I need to have my products that I want to add to the basket which are um, just some festive products here um, and with this basket what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use shrink wrap um, paper which will actually make it more professional and it's going to be sealed so um, let's just put a basket together I'm also going to add a really beautiful printed ribbon to this one I'll show you how to print that ribbon out with our ribbon printing machine and how to add that ribbon to it um, so just taking the basket and because it's not very deep and I know my products are you know quite substantial for this small basket I'm just going to take my tissue paper I'm just going to just add that <coughs> excuse me like so so with the tissue paper I just want to add it so that it's just showcasing on the outsides and then I'm simply just going to quickly add my products in here just put the cake on the back like so So I'm just going to move it over and then I'm just going to add my coffee in here as well. And just bring some of your tissue paper out. Now, you can make this basket with just normal cellophane wrap, but what I wanted to do is show you something slightly different to make a Christmas hamper, um, which is to use the um, shrink wrap that we do as well. Um, and everything that you need, you can find at the bottom of this video. So I, ha I, I have quite a big um, shrink wrap bag here and this is slightly thicker than cellophane but also when you heat it um, it shrinks to the, the, the container or the product that you want to wrap. And I'm going to use a heat gun and I'm going to use this heat gun because it's what I use for my card make. Um, you can probably get away with a hair dryer but it's not normally as hot. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to make a cut because the bag is too big so I'm just going to make a cut across the one side so really what I'm doing is I'm just going to separate the bottom from the top so it is a bag at the moment but because it's too big I'm going to improvise and then I'm just going to cut it around so I have my sheet, one sheet is all I need I don't need the whole bag Lay your shrink wrap on top and tuck it underneath. Okay, so take some tape and just on the bottom here, just place some tape on here and just tape that to this other piece of shrink wrap. So we want to try and stay as tight as we can. Do the same with the front, just take your tape on first and just try and keep it all on the bottom. So I'm just using some normal so now let's just turn that over and I want to make sure that all this goes underneath as well. Tape it so it goes underneath. You want to try and avoid the tape on the top wherever you're going to heat because it heats up and then the tape um, sort of isn't so tacky and it comes off. So that's okay for now. I don't want to, I'm not too worried about it. I can always add more tape on next one. So just want to make sure it's nice and tight though. So let's just grab that and then we can always sort this out later on. Now, when you're heating, you just want to take it over slowly. As soon as you see the product, um, the, the actual paper start to shrink, then you can start to move away from it. Um, you have to be very careful because you can create a hole in here because it does burn through quite quickly. So again, if you're looking for something more professional, something you want to have delivered and you, you're really concerned about keeping it all compact, shrink wrapping is the best way to create a hamper.
I, I like to stop um, once I see that it's getting quite tight. So if I just lift that up, you can see how beautiful and tight that is now. Now, be, sh be assured that if you have your gun or your heat too um, focused on, on the actual wrapping, then you will create a hole. So as soon as it's quite firm, you see the creases going out, just move it. Don't be tempted to keep you know, the, the gun on there or the heat on there. Okay, so now I'm going to work along the sides. Again, quite quickly. Not too close. on you know um, placing the heat gun on it but I, I recommend that as soon as it's nice and sealed you turn this over that's the beauty of it now that's what I love about the shrink wrap just so much more professional and just work on this bottom as well just to, just to clean it all off that's all we're doing here Slightly. Um, let me just pick this up because I can still see it. I don't want to mess with it too much. Um, but again, if you send me it, or if, even if, for example, if you if you own a shop or you're a florist or a gift shop, you can make your hampers like this, and you can actually put them on the shelves like this. Now what I'm going to do to finish this off is I'm going to put a really beautiful printed ribbon on. I'm going to show you how I printed the ribbon. I'm going to show you how to tie a beautiful bow and then we'll add a little tag that I'm going to make by hand as well. Um, so that's how you would shrink wrap a little basket. Um, enough products in there, let them overflow, add a few little embellishments like the cones and that's your little hamper. I'm going to go through a very, very quick way of how we print ribbon and the ribbon printer is something that um, I'm a brand ambassador of and I've been using myself for many, many years, probably about six, seven years. So I'm going to show you how to really quickly print a ribbon. I'll show you how it prints out with the ribbon printer as well. Um, and I want to add this to um, our gift hamper. So this is just some saved work that I've already created. So I'm just going to click on this. I will have more detailed videos on how to use this printer very soon. And what I've done here is I've just actually designed um, just, just a ribbon, a wide ribbon, it's about 35mm, little bauble here with just season's greetings and I want to add this to, to my gift wrapping. And my ribbon printer is already on and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to file and I'm going to print. So that's all okay. And I'm going to print just a couple. And let me just show you how that prints out. So my ribbon print is already on. I've just done a couple of samples. Um, and I'm going to just print a couple more. And show you how easy it is to print with this ribbon printer. And you can see how beautiful that ribbon has printed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm actually going to add it to our gift hamper. So here's my printed ribbon. Um, just a, a very quick demo of how I printed this. And I'm going to be doing some more demonstrations on, on our ribbon printer that we showcase as well. 
And the beauty of the ribbon printer is you can actually create small um, reams of ribbon. Um, so if you had a customer who wanted just a few meters of ribbon, you could do that. And it's an amazing add-on to a gift business or a gift basket business because it's so cost effective and it just costs pennies to actually print such beautiful ribbon. You can design it yourself, all the templates are in there. But like I said, I will talk more about that um, very, very shortly. Okay, so I've um, printed a couple of meters and what I want to do is I'm just going to take my ribbon around the basket. Let's just place it underneath. I'm just going to tie that like so. But already you can see how beautiful and how much more luxurious and expensive that looks with just a printed ribbon. Another thing you can do, um, which was very popular at some of the events that we've been doing recently, is just you could just cut that season's greeting off, and you could just add that as little um, like little snippets on if you wanted to. Um, again, that really showcases the printed ribbon. I'm going to cut the end here, and I'm going to take two. So I have two little prints, and all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to just turn it over like so, so I can still seal the print on there. I'm going to take a little bit of curling string and I'm going to take the gold, simply because we have a gold print. And all you're going to do here is just bring it together and just pinch in the centre. And just bring your curling string in. And I'm just going to tie that down. So just use your desk to support you. So just make two knots, what, as always, one on top of the other, and then just let's just adjust the tails and the loops, and that's your little bow. And you can see how nice that little bow looks. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tie this bow to our existing ribbon. So the way we can tie this is, um, again, if you want to use a small satin ribbon that's the same colour as this one here, you can do that. But I've just used the curling string because um, it, it's just nice and tight. Take your string from underneath and then take the other piece over the top and then again take that. So let me do that again. So just take it from underneath. So you're taking the string underneath so it gives it a nicer flush finish. And then I'm going to just bring it to the top and just make a couple of knots because I'm going to take to pull this string out anyway. Let's make sure that's all nice and flush. And if you have a round basket and you feel like the ribbon's moving a little bit, you can always either take some double sided tape or just a little bit of cellar tape and just on the bottom, just place that on the ribbon. Just so it stops it from moving. Okay. So there, so that's almost finished. And remember, we always want to finish the edges off. So I already have this cut at a slight angle. Let's just finish that off. And let's do the same. And try not to cut too much of your ribbon. So, for example, your text. So again, just cut that across. I'm going to avoid the text. And what you have here now is a really beautiful, substantial looking, cost effective, but opulent gift basket. So what I've done is I've used our printed ribbon from our um, range of um, ribbon printing from our ribbon printer, which I, again I will talk to you more about. And um, just added a few pieces of produce in here, added a few little cones. Again, you don't have to add them, you can always make little balls and put them in. Printed ribbon added it with the shrink wrap and then what you have is a really stunning little hamper here and again the beauty of this is if you have to post it out you can see that that's not going anywhere and that's the difference between using cellophane and a shrink wrap um if you're a retailer then you could always display them like this that's, that's you know you don't you can actually display the basket um upright as well and you can see no risk of anything falling out 
So what I want to do now is I'm going to make a very simple little card and I'm going to use some of this printed ribbon again for my card to add that to this particular hamper. So you don't have to use gift tag, I'm just going to use a plain piece of white card um, maybe do a couple of stamps on it and then add that to this hamper. What I want to do now is just make a simple little gift tag that I want to add to our gift hamper here. And I've just cut a piece of card, just left over card, and I'm just going to stamp this. I'm going to add a little bow and I'm just going to then add that to the actual gift um, hamper. So I've just cut this by eye, so it's not the best way of doing it. Um, but just to show you a few techniques, so I have my gun here. So this is the um, bauble I'm going to be using. This is the um, a really nice bauble, which again is available on our website. So let me stamp this onto our card here. I'm going to be using gold embossing powder because I want to complement the gold on the actual printed ribbon. So I'm going to bring that little bit low because I want to add a little bow to it. So just give that a nice good press. dark because I've been using um, let's take some card So I'm just going to heat this up. You can see that it starts to heat up and it starts to change colour. like about this it just gives it a nice very simple little print so I'm just going to take a corner and I'm just going to just add it on the corner here so it's just more or less giving a rough background so let's take some more of our powder Always place your powder back in. I love this colour because it's really vibrant. So again, let's just heat this up. At an angle, you can see it's heating up quite quickly. So there you can see how nicely um, that shines, really beautiful. Right, so I'm just going to use my little um, hole punch here. And what I want to do is I just want to punch a little hole just on the top so that it creates a, a nice little hole just for my ribbon. Okay. Now coming back to our printed ribbon here, I want to be able to use this on, on the actual um, tag because what happens is it sort of brings it all together when we add, add it on so let let me just make a little cut so I still have a little bit more ribbon here so again I don't want to waste it I still have a couple of um, season greetings showing so I can add that on if I want to you just turn it over and although you can't see the full 
text on this one just because I want to sort of add it you can still see that it's printed and it's still part of it brings everything together so let's just take some string again I'm going to take my double sided tape I'm just going to bring it to the back and I'm just going to pinch it together in the middle just to create a nice little simple bowl so let me bring that in bring your string from behind as always make one knot and then just make a second knot on top and again just use your desk for support shape the loops a little bit now I'm going to cut this string out because I don't need it all and what you can do is you can use a glue gun and just on the top of the, the, the first bauble you would just add your bow like so let me just So add your tape to the back of your ribbon bow and then I'm just going to tape that to the top of the bauble. So what you're doing is you create a nice little bespoke gift tag but you're bringing it all together so you could ha actually have it as a package. Now I want to take some of my string and I'm going to tie it into my gift hamper so bring the hamper forward so it's best to have a little bit of extra string to tie it with and then you can always so just adjust it so to where you want it to drop So I don't want it to come all the way to the top, I want it to drop below the bowl on the, of the ribbon here. Just make a knot and then just not too tight, make a second knot a little bit tighter. And you can let that fall. And again, let's just trim that out. We don't really need that in here. And you can see we have a beautiful big tag again which is bespoke with a nice little bowl so you don't have to waste any of the printed ribbon again you can print as much ribbon as you need you don't have to print so much so what I've done here is I've created a hamper more professional because it's more compact we've used a shrink wrap which is a heel seal uh, heat seated wrapping so when you put your heat gun over it, it closes everything up you can see that it, it's not going anywhere so these are sort of hampers you can buy from department stores but you can make them yourself all you need is a heat shrink bag, a heat gun, um, obviously your products and your um, your baskets, etc. And also, if you want to really go out there full force and create something beautiful with a lot more opulence and charge extra even, then I would recommend that you start thinking about printing your own ribbon. Um, so there's going to be a video on how to print your own ribbon and I'll be talking about our ribbon printer as well which is available for sale um, at giftwrappingcourses.co.uk but let me just show you how beautiful that looks and that's your finished hamper.